Hi everybody, Dylan here, Living Aboard with Chihuahuas, Story 14, Beginning Part 1. We were accosted by a serious squall while in the anchorage in Titusville. We lost 180 feet of three-quarter chain in a plow anchor. Our friend Dennis couldn't believe the ferocity of the squall. He's not a boater. He doesn't understand the weather like we do. Ciao. She is looking at a huge boat wheel. What's this? During our stay in Titusville, in the anchorage, we had a very exciting mishap. Our friend Dennis was on board with us. Lonnie was worried about a squall that was approaching. He was so worried about it that he started the engines. Dennis said he was being overcautious. Within a few minutes, the wind was blowing around 90 miles an hour and the boat was on her side. We had to hold on to the rails or we also would have fallen. It was a deluge. Every boat in the anchorage was dragging. Lonnie had the Margaret Ashton facing up into the wind. The gypsy that holds the chain and the anchor let loose and we lost 180 feet of three-quarter inch chain and a plow anchor. The dogs were all in the main salon during this fiasco. They didn't seem to think much of our mishap. After the storm passed, there was a boat with no one on it that was still dragging her anchor. So I jumped in the water and swam over and boarded her. Fortunately, there was a second anchor on board. I was able to tie a line to it and throw it over in a cot. This was an expensive sailboat, and it was dangerously close to the shore. The squall only lasted about 15 minutes, but we now had no anchor chain, so Lonnie and Dennis had to go into the dock at the city marina. They and several other boats that were in the anchorage ended up in the marina. After taking the Margaret Ashton to the dock and getting signed in and tied up, they came out and picked me up in the dink. We then went and tried to find the anchor and the chain, the owner of the sailboat, that hag drug, was also out in his dink to check on his boat. After he saw what I had done, he came over to us and asked who had put out the second anchor. We told him what had happened. He was very happy we were there. He thanked us and insisted on giving me $100 for my effort. Not bad for a few minutes of effort. Dennis was absolutely flabbergasted at the intensity of the squall. He's not a boater. He had to agree that Lonnie was right in starting the engines. We decided that since we were on the dock, we would fuel up and fill the water tanks. The next day we set out for Sebastian Anchorage. Sebastian isn't far from Titusville, but we had friends that live there and our car was there. We wanted to stay over for a day or so and visit with our friends. We had to stop before we got to the anchorage. The weather was ugly again. We found a safe anchorage and set in for the night. The next morning we got underway and we were in the Sebastian Anchorage by noon. The anchorage is right in front of a bar restaurant called Captain Hiram's. We hit happy hour there with our friends for the next couple of evenings. On the third day, our friend Joe drove us to their house to pick up our car. Hi everybody, Dylan here. Story number 14 and part one. We made it to Sebastian. We were anchored right in front of a bar restaurant called Captain Hiram's. We hit happy hour there with our friends for the next couple of days. Ciao.